Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am so thankful that you are here today. We are going over main idea of a text, and this is really going to help you with your reading, science, and social studies test. Now, this is actually a concept that you've learned a long time ago, maybe even in grade school. But since this is a high school equivalency test, it's going to be much more complicated than it was way back when. So in today's video, we will go over what is main idea, main ideas of movies, because that's always kind of fun, and then digging into a little bit more complicated with nonfiction text and practicing identifying the main idea. My friends, if you're new here, welcome. Click subscribe because I have so many videos that will help prepare you for that exam. So a main idea is simply the central point or key message of a text. Basically, it is what the text is about. And the purpose is really to help you have a better understanding of the text and to identify the primary focus. Now, as you're doing this, as you're looking for the, the main idea, there are a couple of key elements. So first, look for the most important information. Okay, you're also going to want to ignore the minor details or supporting information because we just want the main idea, right? Not the supporting details. And then also it will help you identify the central theme or message that goes along with the text. Okay, my friends, let's get some practicing done. All right, so starting with movies. So these are all gonna be um, just children's movies, which is fine because sometimes it's easier to identify the main idea in a children's movie. Okay, so we have the Lion King, the main idea. So a young lion's journey to become king. Yeah, I mean, that's what the whole movie was about, right? These lions becoming, becoming king. But let's look at the other options. Friendship between a lion and a meerkat. It was important, right? That was an important theme within the movie, but it wasn't what the movie, the main idea of the movie, that's just a supporting detail. A story of a lion's exile and return to the Pride Lands. Again, supporting detail that falls within the main idea. And then the exploration of the animal kingdom's hierarchy. I mean, there's a little bit, but that's not really what the movie's about, right? Okay, now we have Finding Nemo. So a clownfish's quest to find his lost son. Yes, that's what the movie's about, right? A story of undersea adventures. Mm, I mean, yeah, there were other little stories within, but it was really about the dad trying to find Nemo, right? An exploration of marine biology. I mean, a little bit, but it wasn't a nonfiction, right? The challenges of fish parenting. Oh, those poor fish and what they have to do as parents. <laughs> What is the main idea of Toy Story? A tale of toys that come to life when humans aren't around. Yeah, I mean, it does, it does tell their tale, right? A, a boy's adventures with his favorite toys? Not really, because it's about when they're not around, right? The importance of friendship and loyalty among toys. I mean, this kind of falls with the theme, but that actually is the answer. C is the main idea. And it looks like I forgot to enter down, so D is over there a little bit, but the, the perils of being a toy in the world of human. Oh, the tortures, right? The pain that the toys have. Uh, so the answer is actually C, although A is definitely similar and it could be argued. When you take the actual high set test or GED test, it will be a little bit more obvious and uh, there wouldn't be such discrepancy like there is in this question here. Okay, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So that's the first book or the first movie. So a young wizard's adventures at magical school. Yeah, I mean, that's really what, what the main idea is, right? So what it's about. The search for a powerful magical object. So the Sorcerer's Stone, they find at the very end, right? The battle between good and evil in the wizarding world. That's an underlying theme but that's not really the main idea. And a journey to find hidden treasure, eh, not really. Okay, so the answer is A, a young wizard's adventures at magical school. Okay, fun fact, I just took a Harry Potter house quiz, and I don't know why I've never done this before, but I am in 
Gryffindor. <laughs> Go team Gryffindor. Uh, so dedication, courage. Um, I'm really excited that I'm on that team. So now as promised, we're going to dig into actual paragraphs and identify the main idea within paragraphs. Okay. And this is really going to help you for the test. But before we do, my throat's getting a little dry and make sure you drink up lots of water so that your brain is fully hydrated and you do better on the test. All right. The industrial revolution, which began in the late 18th century was a period of profound technological and economic change. It marked the shift from agrarian economies to industrial ones with the introduction of machinery and factories. This transformation had far reaching effects on society, including urbanization, changes in working conditions and the rise of new social classes. Okay. See this word right here. I'm not sure if I'm even saying it correctly, but agrarian. So think about like, see how it has that root egg, the A G egg, like agriculture, right? So think about it back then before the industrial revolution, there were a lot of farmers and ranchers. But then the industrial revolution hit and hello, uh, you know, a technology and more economic change. Okay. So we're looking for the main idea. Okay. The industrial revolution began in the 18th century. It did, but is that the main idea or is that just a supporting detail that goes along with the main idea? Supporting detail. Oops. I forgot to enter down again. The industrial revolution, led to technological and economic change. Yeah, it did, right? That's really the, the main idea, but let's look at the other ones too. The industrial revolution resulted in urbanization and changes in working conditions. Yes, it did, but that's not the main idea, right? It's that technological and economic change. The industrial revolution introduced machinery and factories shifting economies. Okay. So, I mean, you can see that sometimes this can be a little bit tricky, but if you can identify the main idea and which ones are the supporting details that will really help you. Now we have a paragraph about the great barrier reef. The great barrier reef located off the northeastern coast of Australia is the world's largest coral reef system and one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet. Spanning over 1,400 miles, it consists of thousands of individual reefs and islands. The reef is home to a remarkable array of marine life, including colorful corals, sharks, turtles, and countless species of fish. Unfortunately, it is under threat from climate change as rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification are causing coral bleaching and habitat loss. All right. So the main idea, so it is located off the Northeastern coast of Australia. Is that what that whole paragraph was about? Mm, not so much, right? That's just a supporting detail indicating the location. The great barrier reef is the world's largest coral reef system and is incredibly biodiverse. Again, that's really showing what, what it's about, but it's not the main idea. The great barrier reef spans over 1,400 miles and is home to various marine species. Great supporting detail. And D the great barrier reef is facing challenges from climate change, including coral bleaching and habitat loss. Okay. Now, while this sounds like it's just a supporting detail, it's actually the main idea because we have a little warm up of, okay, here's the great barrier reef. And then here's the issue that's happening. And so that is actually going to be the theme or the main idea rather of this paragraph. So these are answer. Now we're switching from the coral reef under the sea to above in the Amazon rainforest. Okay. The Amazon rainforest often referred to as the lungs of the earth plays a crucial role in maintaining the planet's climate. It absorbs vast amounts of carbon dioxide and releases oxygen, helping to regulate the global carbon cycle. Additionally, the rainforest is home to countless species of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else on earth. 
Deforestation, however, poses a significant threat to the Amazon's biodiversity and its capacity to mitigate climate change. All right, so again, the main idea. The Amazon rainforest is known as the lungs of the earth and regulates the global carbon cycle. So what do you think it means by lungs of the earth? Really, it's because there's so many plants there. It's just breathing through the air, right? It is, it regulates the carbon cycle. So it's just cleaning out the carbon dioxide in the air and turning it into oxygen so we people can breathe. Okay, the Amazon rainforest is home to unique species of plants and animals. Yes, but that's a supporting detail. Deforestation is a significant threat to the Amazon's biodiversity and its role in mitigating climate change. I mean, yes, but that's still kind of going in with uh, supporting details. The Amazon rainforest absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen. Thank you, Amazon rainforest, for that. But so the answer here is A, right? So it's talking about how it's the lungs, but then also regulating the, the carbon cycle, cleaning out, filtering out the air. So that, my friends, is the answer. The human brain is a remarkable organ that controls every aspect of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Thank you, brain. Kiss your brain. <laughs> okay, it consists of billions of neurons, each connected through a complex network. Neuroscientists continue to uncover the mysteries of the brain, from understanding its role in memory and emotion to developing treatments for neurological disorders. The human brain is a complex organ that controls thoughts, feelings, and actions. Yes, yes, that's what, it, that's what it's about, right? Okay, B, the brain consists of billions of interconnected neurons. Yes, but that's a supporting detail. Okay, you know what? I think the reason my, my letters are moved over is just because of transferring the document to different fonts and text. That's what's causing my issues here. I'll have, to, I'll have to fix that for the next video. Neuroscientists study the brain to understand its function and develop treatments. Thank you, neuroscientists, but that's not the, not the main idea of this passage. The brain plays a role in memory, emotions, and neurological disorders. Yes, but it's really a, it's a complex organ that controls thoughts, feelings, and actions. The concept of democracy where citizens have the power to elect their leaders and participate in decision-making has evolved over centuries. Ancient Greece is often credited with the birth of democracy, but modern democratic systems vary significantly from their historical counterparts. Today, democracy is a cornerstone of many nations, promoting political equality and representation. Okay, so Democracy has evolved over centuries from its origins in ancient Greece. I mean, that's really what it talked about, how it, how it evolved, right? Ancient Greece is credited with the birth of democracy. That's a good supporting detail. Modern democratic systems differ from historical ones. If that was the main idea, it would talk about how, right? But it didn't talk about how. It just talked about how it, it is different, right? Democracy promotes political equality and representation in many nations. Again, it's talking about really the history, right? Of how it started in Greece and then evolved. My friends, that is it. I hope that you feel like you have a better understanding of the main idea. And by really grasping the main idea, it's going to help you have better comprehension of whatever you are reading. So my friends, thank you for watching. Believe in yourself just like I believe in you. And I wish you just the best day. Go be purely persistent. Peace, guys.